I'm Holly from BalloonHowTo.com and today I've got a little bit of a different kind of video for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Magic Flight balloon inflator. <laughs> so I've been looking for a new way to inflate my balloons for a while. Um, I didn't want something loud or noisy or that had to plug into the wall um, and something that was easy for me to carry around with my normal balloon setup. So I discovered the Magic Flight system and it looked awesome. Uh, so I went ahead and spent the money to try it. Now this isn't the cheapest system out there. Um, it'll cost you between five to 700, maybe even a little bit more, depending what accessories and upgrades that you get. Um, but it is a really cool product. So I, I wanna show it to you. This is the box that it comes in, the Magic Flight system it comes with everything that you need to get started except for the air so let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what it comes with all right so we've got the box open and the first thing that I want to tell you about is the warranty so when you open the box you'll have a packet uh, it's a little booklet of papers and it's got your warranty information in there and I highly 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 recommend that you fill out the warranty and send it in as soon as you get this and I'll tell you a little bit more about why I recommend that so highly in just a little bit, but you have 30 days to send that in after you order the product. So do it as soon as it arrives. Okay, so let's take a look at what this thing comes with. We've got two tanks here. Now I was familiar with scuba diving before I got this and that's the only time I'd ever seen tanks like this. If you've played paintball before, this will probably be even more familiar looking to you because these are basically paintball tanks and you can actually get them filled up at any paintball store that's near you. I'm told you can also get them filled up at scuba or dive shops. I haven't done that myself so I don't want to recommend it because sometimes you need to buy an additional part, a converter or something uh, and I just haven't messed with that so I don't want to tell you about something I don't know anything about. I took it to my closest paintball shop and they knew what to do right away. It's $3 to fill up a tank at my paintball shop. Um, I don't know what it'll be at yours, but it's probably about the same amount. Now over here we have a little stand that comes with it and this will hold one of your tanks upright on a table. And let's see, what else do we have? I'm going to put this down so I can show you the rest of the part. We also have this. This is the top that goes on your tank when you're going to be blowing up balloons and it comes with the actual little hand piece. And this also comes with a nice little clip you can clip onto your belt or dress as it may be. And then your little hand pump right here is always where you need it. You can reach it and then you just push the button on here for the air to come out. Obviously it's gotta be connected to something for any air to come out. I'm going to set that here for a second. It also comes with this strap, which you can use to strap this thing to your body. Um, I have not done that myself. <laughs> All right, so here is our tank. I've already got a little bit of air in this one left over from my last gig, so I can show you how this works. But this is how it will come. It's got a top on it. You do want to leave the top on it when it's not in use. That'll help to keep any air from leaking out so you can save money. Um, and you want to make sure that you're aware of some of the warnings. So it says, do not inflate over, over 200 bar or 3000 PSI. So that's pretty important. Um, your paintball shop guy should know what he's doing though. So you shouldn't have to worry about that too much, but just so you're aware. To take the top off, you just simply twist it and it comes off. And now we can see some more parts of our tank. So, I am not the expert on exactly how these things work and how compressed air works and all that. What I do know is it has a gauge here and you can read this to see how much air is left in your tank. You've got zero through five, that's the PSI. Again, with these tanks, you need to make sure it doesn't go over the three because that would be 3,000 PSI. So you want to keep it pretty close to that. The rest of the stuff you see up here, you don't need to worry about too much. Um, if, if you hear leaking or anything like that, just take it to your local paintball pro shop and they should be able to service these tanks and, and fix any leaks that 
you might have. But the biggest thing to be aware of is this gauge here that'll tell you how much air is in your tank. You don't want to get to a party and then see, oh, there's no air left. <laughs> Always bring a hand pump or a backup pump with you. Okay, so the way we get these things to start working is super easy. It couldn't be any simpler. All you do is take this top and twist it on. And I like to twist the tank part instead of twisting this top part. So just kind of twist that tank until it stops and you don't have to twist it hard. It'll just lock right into place. And that's it. You're ready to go. It's super simple. So now on this top, there is like this clip thing on the back and that's what you could use to clip this tank into your belt. It's a little bit heavy. I haven't done it like this, um, but I would be worried about it kind of starting to pull my pants down <laughs> after a while because it is kind of heavy. It's got some weight to it. So I don't know if I would personally put it on a belt, um, but it works with my balloon setup. So for this demonstration, I'm just gonna use this little stand that it came with. And you can see that it stands upright on a table really nicely. And then I've got the hand actuator, I think is what it's officially called, uh, clipped onto my dress here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and push the little button on here so you can hear. So we've got air coming out. That's it, isn't that easy? So let me go ahead and blow up a balloon and show you guys how simple this is and how quickly it inflates a balloon. So I've got a, a 260 purple here and you're just gonna slide it onto the nozzle just like any other hand, uh, balloon pump and then just press the button. And there you go, a fully inflated 260 in like two seconds. So. <laughs> so how cool is that? I really like this pump. Now, let me tell you a few things about it and this is why I recommended you to get that warranty sent in as soon as you get this product. The hand actuator that is on my pump now is not the one that it came with. Um, the, the little hand part that I did have on this um, was leaking air somewhere out of where this button is. Uh, you could hear it leaking and then if you put it in some water you could see bubbles coming out. And so my tank of air wasn't even lasting one hour at a gig because when I wasn't using it, it was constantly leaking out air. So that's wasting your air and your money. So I sent my, this top in here with the hand actuator. I sent this in and they returned it to me with a completely different part right here. This the whole thing is different from the button to the nozzle. Everything now is a much higher quality. So if you get the magic plate and you find that it's leaking air or your tank isn't staying filled up very long, it might be because you have a leak in this part. So just send it in. They were super helpful and very quick. They sent it to me right back uh, with a little note saying what they had changed and that they had used better quality parts for this piece. So if you have any problems, make sure you have that warranty card filled in and you can get it fixed. Now this pump is also great for 160. So let me show you how to do a 160. I've got a nice dark green 160 here and it just slides right onto the tip of our nozzle. Just easy peasy. And these blow up even faster because they don't need as much air, of course. So there you go, 160. You can also do five inch rounds and six inch hearts. So here's a little five inch round. There you go. And I've even done 350s with this. It doesn't say that it's made for that, but I've done it. The only thing with the 350 is it's going to take more of your air and take a little bit longer, but it's got a pretty good seal around the nozzle there. And just hold on to that. And there you have a fully inflated 350. Okay, so overall, my review of this product, I give it a thumbs up. I'm really enjoying using it. Um, I'm coming from using the green or purple hand pump at all my gigs, seven hour festivals, and one hour birthday parties. 
So to go to something like this, it's a huge, huge relief on my arms and just in general. It makes blowing up balloons a lot more fun and it seems easier because you're not having to spend as much energy pumping up every single balloon. Um, if you've got other pumps that you prefer, let me know what they are in the comments below. I'm still kind of figuring out what kind of pumps are the best and which ones I might, might want to try next. So give me your suggestions and I'll definitely take a look at those. Let me know what you guys think of the Magic Flight if you already have it. If you don't have it, are you planning on getting it after seeing this review? Do you think it looks like something you'd want? It is a little bit pricey, but I personally think it's worth it. I'm really happy with this. It's quiet, it's easy, you're completely free of any cords or plugs or anything like that. So I definitely recommend it. The only downside is you run out of air and you have to replace it, but it's really pretty cheap, so it's not too bad. Well, that's it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more balloon related videos and balloon animal tutorials, just subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every Tuesday on Tutorial Tuesday and then random times when I decide to do reviews and other videos like this. So just subscribe to the channel and you'll see all my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys for the next Tutorial Tuesday. Bye bye!